today we will read <coughs> Shri 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 Rilapa Kusumanjali, verse number 43. Just to soothe your proud peak. The prince of Raja places your feet on his head. <laughs> Thus, making it even more beautiful with a mark of your foot leg. When will I make your feet most splendid with this nectarian foot leg? Just to soothe your proud peak, the Prince of Raja places your feet on his head, <coughs> thus making it even more beautiful with the mark of your foot leg. When will I make your feet most splendid with this nectarian foot leg. Sri Raghunathas Amen Gopi Chanda because this is the Samu food line. And Krishna liked to do for himself. So Gopi also wants that to do. So this become Gopi Channan. <coughs> Gopi Channan we are putting on our own. Sri Raghunathas Swarupavesh is very vivid and in this absorption he prays to Swamini for her devotional service. Ah. <sighs> 
how wonderful is his savor of these visions. Yeah. How agitated he is when he loses this consciousness again. Those who have attained perfection have nothing else but experience. And those who are advanced in bhajan also experience some kind of succession of experiences. Otherwise, how could they continue? What is the meaning succession? Like a thread. Mm -hmm. One after the other. Uninterrupted. Visions are coming one after another in the chain. They're just coming, coming and going, coming and going. And one is to achieve something. I succeed by success and this property. So they succeed something in life. So the they sadhakas they succeed also that feeling in our their sarupa. That's the succession. One after that, but something if not succeed, test will not happen. They realize that realization is the succession. Read this line again. Those who have attained perfection mm. have nothing else but experience. And those who are at Education. experience means realization. I feel it. Realize and those who are advanced in bhajan also experience some kind of succession of experiences. Yes. Experience. I will I do. Otherwise, how could they continue? See that. Mm. Mm. Bhajan is important to succeed this. In Sadhya, Bhajan can help us to give more time in our salute. 
and one pointed meditation in our sadhya. That way we shall see something more realization. This succession of transcendental experiences, yeah. including even their dreams, yeah. are the life support of the Premika devotees. Gross body, a spiritual body and subtle body. Everything. This succession of transcendental experiences, including even their dreams, are the life support of the Premika devotees. Yeah. <clears throat> Shri Raghunata's Swarupa wish is genuine and not at all false. The sadhakas should first endeavor for these experiences. And afterwards, everything becomes natural. As this, but this has to be more clear. Who wants to say? What does it mean that Sumupavesh is genuine and not false? Realization makes you genuine. If not, then it's a false. If realization is not coming, it's a false. We are searching for. Maybe. Guru Deva says it may be a possible, but it is a, one day when realization will not come, we will feel false. And why not realization coming? Because of my wrong way of movement. I have to go south, we are going north. Read and explain. This should be natural. Last word is natural. If you do unnatural thing, it cannot be natural. How to make natural and how to come out from unnatural? Shri 
श्री रघुनाथ स्वरूप आवेश इज जेन्युइन एंड नॉट एट ऑल फॉल्स द साधकास शुड फर्स्ट एंडेवर फॉर दीस एक्सपीरियंसेस एंड आफ्टरवर्ड्स everything becomes natural so i understand once you do it be not that it is flow is coming and i know tradish this and i i know make up natural and not realization then is a booky knowledge yes we are trying to find something in the ocean but it still not find it the real deal this is the real deal that has to be clear what we not i give you this uh, What should I say? I want to say something. Radhe Radhe. So I think. No, sit here now. What do you? Ananta Das Baba saying very strongly that Swarupa Vish is genuine and is not at all false. i think he saying that for us that we can believe and trust in that that is not imagination that that is the final reality as long as we don't have the experience maybe some doubt is there i'm only imagining i only imagine it's true or not but after we have the experience then it's naturally because we believe 100% of that before we know it but when experience coming then we realize it so until we only know then maybe we think it's imagination or not therefore anantaras baba ji strongly saying it's genuine and it's not at all false to take out our doubts that we still may have that i that i think yeah that um yeah radhe radhe happy ekadashi first of all and uh, yeah so uh, kartik month is starting so it's a very auspicious time for all of us and um, actually I, i don't know i i don't have any much realizations i feel my brothers and sisters have much more to share and but uh screw this uh, order so i should say something so please forgive me for uh, taking some time now um i was uh, the last days meditating on this peak of radharani um and today the verse was exactly about um to soothe her peak and the other day we were reading with guru dev for verse in vilap kusumanjali which was um, talking also about her peak and sometimes it says that her peak is without any reason and sometimes there is a reason sometimes she is upset with mohan yeah okay slowly 
uh, sometimes there is a reason why Radharani becomes upset in Man, and that may be because he's late or he was somewhere else. And sometimes her peak, her Man is without any reason. So that I found very beautiful, and we were asking Gurudev about this and um, Gurudev gave a very beautiful explanation and just before um, Anandas Babaji in the commentary writes that um, love needs obstacles and it's like it compared it to the, the river of love, the love stream between Radha and Mohan is flowing, it's flowing endlessly but sometimes that obstacle is like a dam in the river and then the water fills up and more and more water fills up and then it starts like flushing in all directions. So Radharani expresses so many different feelings but then that water again merges into that love stream and mixes with that and that Another Das Bhavaji was saying it rejuvenates, it renovates, it invigorates the divine couple with all these feelings. And Gurudev very beautifully added to that, that it gives us the opportunity to take part. It gives us as a soul, as a maidservant of Brother Rani to help in this emotional reality of hers that we can become part of it because it's the parakya bhav which you know is the most attractive for them and also for us and gurudev was also mentioning that um it also uh it's like we also need these obstacles like we also meet many obstacles but our one-pointedness towards Radharani is always there. And it's not like we are, uh, it's actually created for us, you know, to really more um, experience love and more support the loving pastimes. And um, so I was very happy now to hear uh, that uh, today's verse is also talking about this peak and it also kind of relates to that he has to soothe her. So the, the divine supreme reality personality has to soothe Radharani, he has to please her, he has to make up for his mistakes, or he has to again bring her back to him. And I think it's a very a beautiful a meditation that one can have that she actually, in that moment, again, is throwing the arrows. We were, the last couple of weeks, uh, meditating on the Pushpa Banaya Dimahi, on the Kam Gayatri, and, and nowadays, like everywhere you can find that her arrows are actually all the time hitting him, and he is like, becomes the puppet, right? So... Yeah, this was just what I felt now in this moment, and yeah, thank you so much, and sorry for for any taking your time. But now, my my dearest brother, our Raghunath Ji, is also here with us. Yeah, did I did. He prayed us all at one time. It makes it very, 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 very intense. I just wanted to, to share something about that word natural. If I hear natural, or if we hear natural, we immediately is associated with normal. And that is actually natural. What is our normal position? So if we take shelter in the pleasure giving potency, we come back to our normal position and we leave our unnatural position, we leave our abnormal position. So that means actually the association with Radha. 
and this is our swarup and this is our normal position this is our our real deep hankering to get into this normal position and forever forever 11 that did i did <laughs> just a few that did i did yeah good now Yananda Maharaj is also there. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Radhe, I keep from hand to you in big history. So, what is right? I have a very small screen. But this biggest thing for the audience who can see. Well, there's something. Yeah. I don't have also any realization about it. So, but uh, as far as I know and I understanding and realizing, realizing if we purifying the everything is so natural and relaxing and Gurudev also saying <laughs> if we want to stay just in Vrindavan just eating sleeping and that's it. Of course, sometimes we have to lead and meditate. So, our sadaka besh also become very natural. And swarupa besh also natural. Because if we lose false ego, and then everything natural and flow is coming. And so flow is, we don't know why, but uh, we, we realize, oh, we are just uh, now here <laughs> so meditation also very natural so so th in this matter i don't i don't have so much realization it but at least i can say this even though we are reading or hearing from this Ananta Das Baba or uh, Raghunata Das Goswami Pada, Turashi Manjari, Latin Manjari. And everything become very natural and easy to accept. And uh, this so much uh, favorable or so much acceptable so so please good day <laughs> please say i am just fool all are beautiful all but you start from southern That is very important. And then we create a natural there. <laughs> <laughs> then it becomes unnatural. If sadhak deha practice is also same, my sarup and my swami easy to make natural. Because 
us in that difficult time also we are in that practice it is a very really difficult moment in sadhak kriya Creates more blockages to us to reach it there than we imagine, but we cannot feel. We cannot get the sensation there. We cannot get into it there. And in my dross body, happening something, and subtle body happening something, and then it's not natural. You said that there, maybe some flash can come, but result is not. I sure cannot reach to the results like <coughs> right. So subtle and sadhak they are also. It helps us like in the world to me. It's more helpful in such a day. And it will not have helping because we are not feel natural to us. This thing. we think that we can manage all circumstances. We do not surrender there in one point, right? Mm-hmm. Then question is coming. How to do Vrindavan circumstances? Living in the Vrindavan circumstances and living in Japan, a question circumstances are different. And then the nationality is different. But it's the only power that I have to accept that I'm a dasi. Gold has to fix that she is my gold. That not has to change. Do what you like to do. Who stop? So to me, that you not do anything. But the moment, every moment of my behavior, if it become natural in my life, realization comes every moment, and all things become more, more success, more smartly, because sadhakya is not working. What we are doing before. My said that the high star was there, so everything become favorable in my life. We are fearful, but it is not because we have no realization. But I see really it become more favorable and easy than working in some inside the inside. We not accept our 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 color and mellow color mellow and my samandha with you some and my sorrow. 
کوتاه تام می رو تاسین Then it will become very natural. And that in the beginning, little senior fighting will be their fightingness. Hard work. But when it becomes natural, that is the more hard work. Now we can go on. Try and try and practice and see that. So homework. Yeah. One day, as uh, my mother called me, and she said, "Today well, I make one painting." She showed. Sure. Radha Nadi, yeah, we chat there. She is showing the ornaments because too heavy. Huh? I feel so. She is going alone, or who is going with her? I want to have Monday. One or two Monday. I think you can see one inch short, Rati, and if she has to collect or not, you can do give chance to many Mandiris. They are collecting. Rather than I give my many mandiri chance to collect, and some um, so much is coming out, they cannot collect. But she is running, and our mandiri is also running to her. So this is the which is the time of that. I cannot calculate the time. Because it's the morning, afternoon, or evening. It's, I think it's evening time. She is going to make this. Okay, okay. Now I have it. I will make it on the screen. So our meditation is by making great things in very good. Somebody can meditate by doing all the services that I am the Radha does. What is the problem? If they don't listen me. I am a dasi. Why they will listen me? I am not controlled. Who are you to listen? Radha Rani listen. People listen to Radha. Why to her dasi? <coughs> is a very helpful. I I think it. Is a wonderful to to identify our mm-hmm. sarupavish and do everything. <coughs> Anything you do in your sarupavish is very helpful and for. One for yourself. Everything wants you. Material thing is 
not material, <laughs> just a painting, nothing original. But you have to be there to make natural. Easy to make natural and easy to make the life natural. And succession, when succession will succeed, the wealth of Rati Mandir. In the material life, we succeed the property of Father. And in the spiritual life, we have to succeed. Succeed, succession. She gave that I can also, in my Sarupa, always, we can also do it. Now, Once on the two. Sri Raghunatha's Swarupa Vesha is genuine, not at all false. The sadhakas should first endeavor for these experiences and afterwards Everything becomes natural, as is the case with the devotees who have attained Rati. What is Rati? Sri Guru Charane Rati. <laughs> That's the How sweet it is to be with Swamini in a transcendental absorption. Yeah. The experienced devotee is always immersed in this rasa. A great agony awakens in Shiragunata's heart when the vision from the previous service disappears from him. And his heart is floating once again on the waves of anxious prayer that carry him back into the kingdom of Leela. This time, 
she will anoint Shiradika's foot soles with lack dye, saying, Hey Swamini, do you know the greatness of the foot lack? How sweet are these words? Even if they are just uttered within the mind. When the smarana becomes very intense, It is as if one speaks them directly to Swamini. One does not think anymore that I am doing Smarana. This is a vispurti of Shiraguna Dasa Goswami. Shridasa Goswami sees that as Tula Simanjari, she takes a cup of footlag and a brush while sweetly saying Vrajendranandana's head will become more beautiful <coughs> when it is anointed with your foot lack <laughs> as he tries to soothe your peak by placing your feet on his head. But that I'm sorry, Radha Radha, can you put me back in Russian translation room? Sorry. It's Govinda Mohini. Shridasa Goswami sees that as Tula Simanjari, she takes a cup of footlack and a brush while sweetly saying, Rajendra Nandana's head will become more beautiful when it is anointed with your foot lack as he tries to soothe your peak by placing your feet on his head. But that does not make Mohana inferior. It will increase his superiority. The Goswamis say that Krishna's greatest qualities are that his mind melts with love and that he is controlled by love. This attribute gives life 
to all other attributes. Sri Radhika is the embodiment of that love. So naturally, she controls him the most. And his quality of prema vashyatta means subjugation of by love is manifested to the utmost when he is with her. Everyone wants to reveal his own superiority. When the poet Jayadeva was describing in his famous Gita Govindam <coughs> how Krishna held Radhika's feet on his head mm -hmm. just to soothe her peak. He could not find the right words to end the Sanskrit verse. While the poet went for his bath, Krishna himself came and wrote the missing syllables down for him in the book. Dehi Pada Palavam Udaram Give me your generous lotus feet. We meditate on Mohana as he submits himself to Sri Radhika. Mm. The lack die from Radhika's lotus feet sticks on Mohana's head and the marks form its decoration. The colorful peacock feather crown cannot make his head as beautiful as this red footlack of Radhika. The Kinkaris know the purpose of this very well. Shilila Shuka says, you are uniquely known as Shiki Pinchamoli, he who wears a crown of peacock feathers. Why does Krishna wear the peacock feather? When he enters Vrindavana forest to tend the cows, the peacocks, seeing his fresh monsoon-like luster, dance in ecstasy. Seeing their dancing, Sri Govinda Nataraja, the king of dancers, dances along with them. imitating them by wiggling around on his knees and lifting his hands. When they see this, 
the peacocks dance in even greater ecstasy, dropping a feather or two. Krishna thinks that the peacocks thus say to him, O oh God of love, if fate had given us human bodies, we could have served you with fruits and flowers from the forest. But alas, we are not so fortunate. We are just birds, and everybody loves our feathers. If you would lovingly accept this insignificant offering, then we would be blessed. So Krishna, who gives himself away in exchange for an offering of even a spoon of water and a tulsi leaf. He accepted this simple gift of love on his head. Shiradika makes the best offering by printing her red footlack on his head with great pride. It is the love with which she does it that increases the beauty of his head, not just the color of the footlack. Transcendence becomes decorated with the color of pure love in this way. Srila Kavi Karnapur has expertly glorified Radhika's foot leg as follows. One day, when Shiradika was in an independent mood, Mohana was anointing her lotus feet with foot lag. And he became so attracted to the sweetness of these feet that he held them to his chest so that the lack that was not dry yet got stuck to his chest. May that red lack on Radhika's lotus-like lotus feet that sticks on Mohana's chest more beautifully than even the Shivatsa mark, the cow's tuba gem, and the goddess of fortune. That is praised with eloquent verses by the glow of the rising morning sun that destroys the nocturnal darkness and that perks like a blooming red lotus flower in the bluish water of the Yamuna River protect you.
In the same way, Manini's foot lag increases the beauty of Mohana's head. One day, Shrimati is angry with Krishna. So he falls at her feet and says, If you won't look at me or speak with me even once, then how can I live? Specifying her proud anger by placing her feet that are moist with perspiration on his head, thus coloring it with her red footlock. and making his peacock feather fall off. Mohana is the emperor of the kingdom of Rasa. And by holding these feet on his head, he becomes Rasika Shekara, the crown jewel of relishers. I praise Mohan, who is gladdened by a wonderful festival of play, who is the very form of intense enchanting rasa, and whose beautiful peacock feather rolls at Shiradika's feet. Because he forgets everything and becomes absorbed in the Madhurya Rasa, Krishna is called Rasa Ghana Mohana Murti, the embodiment of thickly condensed flavors. Such rasa cannot exist if there is still a fiber of awe and reverence for Krishna as the majestic Lord. Tulasi holds Swamini's feet to her chest and paints the red footlock on them while making her relish the rasa of so many lilas. She dries the lack off by blowing on it. Who else but an expert kinkari can render such a service? How beautiful is that red lack. It looks 
like the king of sunrise, taking shelter of her reddish lotus foot soles to serve them. The sun is, after all, the friend of the lotus flowers. Anuragini Tulasi, admiring the beauty and loveliness of these foot souls, tells the red leg. O oh, red foot lack, don't be distressed, thinking that you are not qualified to color these coral red foot soles. It is not through a small amount of good fortune that you can attain the shelter of these feet. As a result of taking shelter of these feet, your fortune will simply increase. you will be able also to beautify the curly locks of Mohana. Blessed you are for attaining the shelter of Mahabhava Mai's lotus feet. How many sweet things Tulasi speaks within her mind. Swamini's mind is elsewhere. Her mind is immersed in the rasa that was served to her by Tulasi. Then, Tulasi attracts Swamini's mind by saying, Hey Swamini, we will feel blessed by seeing you, you beautify Mohana's crest. This red lack will increase the beauty of his deep, blackish, curly locks. From the Gautya Vaishnava Acharyas, we can learn the greatness of surrender. Shri Radha's lotus feet. They love Radha more than Krishna. Radha Sneh Adika. This is the great gift of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sri Jiva Goswami laments for those who do not take shelter of Shiradika's feet in the age of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Although they may have taken shelter of Sri Krishna's feet.
a person who may be a king, but who does not serve Lord Hari. A person who may be very generous, but who does not offer anything to Lord Hari. A poet who does not glorify him. A person who surrenders to a guru without surrendering to Lord Hari. A person who may be very qualified but who is not dedicated to Hari. A person who may be very sincere but who does not take shelter of Sri Krishna and who does not follow in the footsteps of Sri Radha, Vraja's goddess of fortune. These seven persons pierce my heart like javelins. Tulasi is absorbed in Swamini's service, applying her foot luck. This service is so attractive that Mohana sometimes even takes the risk to enter into Mother Chatila's house to freely engage in it, dressed like a barber girl. That humorous, dressed like a barber girl, Mohana enters the palace where Rai was sitting, holding a mirror in his hand and Nailak in his case. He told her, sit down for a pedicure. That humorous, amorous girl sat down, opened her golden box and filled a clean jug with scented water. Then she began to make rice nails as beautiful as the moon with her nail lac. This barber girl is named Shyama and blissfully wanders around like a puppet of butter. She rubbed and rubbed Rai's feet with footlock and constantly looked whether it was done nicely or not. Holding Rai's feet to her chest. She wrote her name on her foot soles in a wonderful name, in a wonderful way. Then the barber girl said, Oh, fortunate girl, look at your feet and consider if my work is good or bad. Looking carefully, fair face dry said, Oh, hey, which name have you written there? Introduce yourself to me. The barber girl said, Oh, fortunate girl, I am named Shyama and I live in your town. Dvija Chandidasa says, This is not a barber girl. Go home after you have finished your pedicure job.
the service of Prema Mai's feet. Radha, who is full of love for Mohana, is the greatest wealth of Rasika Raja. Mohana, the king of radishes. The Rasika devotees will understand it, but the ignorant will not. Chaitanya Charitamrita. Bhujipa Rasika Bhakta, Nabhujipa Mudha. While Raghunath Adasa applies the foot lag, the vision disappears and he laments and prays for that devotional service. Mohana rolls at your feet to soothe your turbulent, jealous anger. and dyes his head with your foot lag. That makes his head even more beautiful, beyond comparison. When will I apply that lack to your foot soles? with my own hands and fill my eyes with its beauty that breaks the pride of all other luster with the rising of its blossoming sweetness. This is the end of the verse 43.